Hello and welcome to fingerprint scanning in Xamarin Forms. Today we're going to use a uh, Xamarin fingerprint plugin that was written by Sven Mikael Stube to easily add Touch ID to your Xamarin Forms apps. I'll be using an app from Xamarin University, our Enterprise 170 class, and we'll be using the lab where we learn to add a username and a password. I'm going to be adding fingerprint authentication to it. So let's get started. I have the lab exercise open already. It has a login screen for accepting a username and a password, but I'd like to give them a choice of using fingerprint authentication instead. Before I jump into the code, I'm making some assumptions you should be aware of, specifically with Android. The plugin I'm using works with Android 6.0 and higher. If you're wanting to support older versions, then you'll need to use a different mechanism. The walkthrough for it is on developer.xamarin.com in the Android Platform Features Guide uh, for Fingerprint Authentication. Now it says 6.0 or higher, but the walkthrough and the sample use the app compat version for older devices. Okay, so let's get to the code. Let's start by adding the plugin. We'll start with the portable class library and we'll add a new get package. I like searching for Xamarin fingerprint. And there you see it, plugin.fingerprint. That's the one that we want. Notice the name. So we'll add that package. Now I'll do that for the other two projects as well. Okay, now that we have all of that successfully added, let's add our button. So I've left some room. What I want to do is add another row here for our button. We'll just put that in there. I also want another button. So I'll just copy this one to make it easy. We'll say grid row 3 now. Still call them 2. We'll call it FP login. So we'll say login using fingerprint. Okay, and then we'll change this to row 5. We'll put it back down where it needs to go. All right, that looks pretty good. So let's get to, we'll save that and we'll get to the code behind. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is sign up for the clicked event on our new button. And we'll create one called BTN FP button clicked. Stay consistent there. Ah, there we go. So we'll make a method for that. All right now, I'm going to be awaiting some calls in here. So we're going to make that async. And now let's get started actually coding that. First thing we want to do is make sure to see if our fingerprint is even available on this device. And then if it is, we can try to authenticate. Okay, so let's add that in. I almost forgot. We need a using up here before we can use it. Let's reference it. Using plugin dot fingerprint. All right, now let's get back down to coding the method. All right, the first thing we want, of course, is to make sure that it's available. We're going to wait cross fingerprint dot current dot is available async. Okay. 
And the true here that I'm putting in here is if I want, uh, for iOS only, if I want it to um, fall back to using a pin. All right, so if we are, if, we, if it is available, then we're going to go ahead and do the rest of it where we're going to authenticate it. So I need to do an if here and we'll say result. So if that's true, then we're going to go ahead and authenticate async. So I need to know, we're going to have a variable called auth, we'll just call it auth, and we will await cross fingerprint dot current dot authenticate async. Okay, now we need to give it a reason why we're trying to authenticate in the first place. So I'm going to say authenticate access to your diary. Okay, now if we are authenticated. So I'm going to use that auth that we just got and see if we're authenticated. And if we are, then I'm going to set up the, the way they have this lab set up. We are storing diary entries by a username because we have that username and password set up. So we're going to set up our own username here um, since we're not using the username dialog and we'll just call it uh, FP auth. So that was our fingerprint auth. And then I can say login succeeded. That's the event that I can raise. And I can use the account manager get account, which will set up the account and send it in our username. Now I'm going to put an else on this. What if we didn't authenticate? Well, then I'm just going to display an alert. And we'll title it authentication failed. give it a message of, oh, fingerprint authentication failed. And then we'll give our button a OK. So let's first try this on our iOS. I have a simulator in iOS 7, uh, I mean an iPhone 7 with 10.3 on here. Let's just try this out first. All right, I'm going to try using a fingerprint. But you'll notice I get authentication failed we haven't enrolled any fingerprints. So the way that I fix that, let's just stop this for a moment. The way that I fix that is going into the simulator, the hardware menu, under touch ID, toggle enrolled state. So we're enrolling a fingerprint there. So once again, if I go back to touch ID, toggle enrolled state, that's now checked. So running this again, Log in using fingerprint. Should bring this up, the normal screen for iOS. And then we're going to go back to that hardware menu, touch ID, and match touch. So let's match touch. And of course we got in, we're authenticated. All right, now before we can do it on Android, we have a few more things we need to do for Android. First of all, we have to go into the app manifest.
So let's set Android as our startup. We'll go into our Android manifest. We need to tell it that we're going to use fingerprint. Ah, oh, there it is, down here on use fingerprint. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the source because there's one more thing. Um, I'm, I'm also using a Samsung <laughs> uh, emulator and if you're gonna support Samsung, you're gonna need this as well. There is a, there's another line that you need to put in there and I'm just gonna paste it in here for now. You'll see what I mean. You'll need one more line in there in order to use the, you'll need the right use app feature survey for Samsung. All right, so we'll save that. Okay, we're also going to use another plugin. James Montemagno has a current activity plugin. We only need it in the Android project, but let's go and get that for the Android project. So we'll add a new get package and we'll look for current activity. There it is, plugin.currentactivity. And we'll add that. All right, successfully added. So we've got that. Now, in our main activity in Android, I need to add a couple of things. Um, I want to use our, our using here, a couple of usings that. Um, current activity so plug in dot current activity I also want to use the fingerprint one plug in dot fingerprint because what I'm going to need to do here is I need to set an activity resolver for my cross fingerprint so cross fingerprint dot set current activity resolver and we're going to do a little lambda here we're going to do we're going to say cross current activity dot current dot activity All right, so we should be okay there. That's about all we needed to do on that. Let's save that one. Okay, now adding a fair or testing fingerprint on Android is really quite interesting. Um, if we're gonna do it on an emulator, there's a few things that we need to set up. So first of all, let's go to the emulator. Um, I need to set up fingerprint. So let me go to settings, uh, security, and I need to set up a fingerprint. Fingerprint's going to make me do a screen lock as well. So if we sit here um, and, we, and we set up for fingerprint, it needs to enroll a fingerprint, but it actually needs to enroll one from somewhere else. I can't just hit a hardware button here. So what I need to do is connect to my emulator. I'm going to Telnet and it's 127.0.0.1 and then you'll notice the 5554 here, it's a little hard to see. That's what I want here. And then it's gonna ask for authentication. So I'm gonna do auth and then I have my little authentication code already copied off. And we'll put it here. Okay, now we should be ready. Okay, we'll be ready for it when we when we need the fingerprint. Okay, so we'll we'll continue. We'll set up a lock screen and add a fingerprint. So we'll just do a pattern real quick for the lock screen, just something really simple. So it doesn't take too much time. Now, the fingerprint we need to send it. It's asking for a fingerprint now. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm gonna say um, 
finger touch one, send that, and we've got a fingerprint. All right, so we have it enrolled. We still need this up in order to test our, uh, our app. So let's go ahead and run our app. We'll bring this back up in a moment. All right, so let's try using the fingerprint here. We're going to log in using fingerprint. And now in order to send the fingerprint, I'll need to go back to my terminal and type in finger touch one. And we've logged in using our fingerprint. Fantastic. All right, thank you for joining my seminar on uh, fingerprints in Xamarin Forms. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a great rest of your day. Thank you.